Hello world, welcome to A Champion's Online Guide. This is the second part in the Unity 2 Prerequisite Guide where we'll go through the chain for Assembling the Antidote and part of There and Bat Again. Let's get ready to raid a drug lab and create our very own suspicious bag of white powder. It all starts in a street corner next to that cemetery everyone farms Sovereign Sun's costume pieces. The fellow there gives you the quest Terror Toxin because no one pushes drugs in Papa's territory but Papa. Bust into that warehouse and start wrecking everything. Throw tables, smack around the chemist, and take all the money that rightfully belongs to you anyway. Once you get done cleaning house, talk to Papa's ghost form to make your very own antidote. In a giant cast iron kettle. Totally not suspicious at all. You have two minutes to pick up the ingredients and throw them into the pot. Don't worry if you fail, you can just start over. I normally switch on the NPC dialogue on a separate tab to see what I need next. There are multiple places to get all the items, which is good because you can't pick up some of them. You can just take one of everything once the quest starts and get duplicate items as you need them. You automatically put in the right ingredient in the pot. At the end of the quest, you'll have your very own bag of white powder. That's all you need for this quest chain, but we're going to do the next two missions for the start of the Foxbat series. Cough and break is annoying for all the same reasons as smoking a pack a day. You break open coffins, smack the zombies around until they're below 50% health, and throw powder in their faces. Very easy to kill these guys. Wait until the zombie begs for mercy before giving them their fix, or they won't turn back into people of the non-zombie variety. Papa then gives us one last quest, the servants and the main loa, to kick Baron Cimeteer's teeth in. He's hanging out at the crypts at the far end of the Sovereign Sun Cemetery. You can kill everything and see about stealing some clothes, but you really need to take out the mob standing near the shiny chest. You don't actually loot the chest since the key drops off the mobs. After you get the key, you need to kick the door guards out of the way. Attacking Baron in last room also aggroes all of the mobs. If you have a beefy character, go nuts. Otherwise, kill all the mobs around the room first. After you show Baron who really owns the drug trade in this area, return to Papa. That's it for part two. Next time we'll talk about Sapphire Stalker problems, how great skippable cutscenes are, and stab a sparkling vampire.